We were like, there was no, no texting. No. no. How do I know if I get a like or not? realized I have the same jacket as this other girl who was just in there. No! <laughs> no. What's that like? Do you make her take it off? Yeah. We took a picture together. Uh, yeah. Only <laughs> girls would do that, by the way. But if I saw you wearing the same German. jacket, I'd probably spill something on it so you couldn't wear it. Oh, really? You wouldn't take a picture with me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, That's all what right. I yeah. Have done, though. yeah, you should have. She's not done threatened yet. Threatened her. <laughs> She's pregnant, though, so. Even better. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was, talking, I was talking to the the real firefighters in here, and they told me that yeah. you guys had to go through like a really tough camp where you had mm -hmm. to give your phones away and everything. Was that the hardest yeah, part? The <laughs> that was that was the hardest that part. That sounds that was, so bad. Yeah, like, we were like, there was no, no texting. No. no. How do I know if I get a like or not? I don't know, man. I, I mean, it was it was it was hard to go five days. I without... snuck my phone. I wouldn't go that far. Really? No. I I no I brought in a burner. I had a, a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, though, yeah. You know. Um, yeah, we had a boot camp, um, but it, it was for the practical sense of how they literally fought the fire with fire and and what that goes and what goes on with that. But most importantly, it was, you know, finding these guys and and. You know, these guys, those guys had fought those fires with, you know, the real Mackenzie yeah. and the Steed and the Marshes and um, they their best friends. That's yeah. what it was about. Yeah, and and I want to and I, look. I think they're being really kind when they say it was hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're actors. They didn't. They didn't bring. We we don't do what they do. You know, and and these guys are special individuals, and that deserves respect. Yeah. Did did you guys yeah. <laughs> when you were in this kind of like mode? Did you ever think about like, am I a brave person? daily, especially when you're working with fire that's 15 to 20 feet high and you're feet away from it for sure. I, yeah. You know, it's interesting because it gets your heart pumping, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, but we have a job to do also, you know, and so the whole idea of being brave, I mean, it's not the, it's not the absence of fear, it's working in spite of fear. I find acting kind of brave too, because you have to put yourself out there. Do you, different level. Do, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah, think? Yeah. I mean, it's a different level, obviously. But can you relate to that at all? If we fail, we don't pass on. Well, they you could. Do. Yeah, we <laughs> don't mean, die though. Um, but yeah, no, I think. I mean, it's a very subjective thing. You know, every day you're probably going over some kind of thing. Hopefully, taking risks that, you know, aren't at that level of life and death. But sure, I mean when you have to go on screen or whatever, but that's where the preparation and everything yeah. else, and leaning like, and trusting the guy next to you. Trusting the guy next to you. For sure. You know, and I mean, your director, your yeah. storytellers, your writers, and... and but, you know, we, we uh, it's funny, man. I, I, I learned a long time ago, you know, the, the, the actor I want to work with is the actor who's actually brave enough as it's rolling, because Taylor does this a lot. He leans over and goes, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then they say action, and then that dude is absolutely 100% present with you, you know what I mean? It's the actor who, who is so cocky or confident, they think yeah. they're doing all the time, they got blinders on. They're not listening, they're not being present, you know? So you kind of, you do your homework and then you show up and you let it all go, you know? And I, and, I, and I trust these guys, I trust the guys I work with. Is it true that you used, that you lived on a subway once? I read that, that you- That is true. In, yeah. in, in, in New BC? York City. Mm -hmm. What train? Uh, it was the ACRE late at night. It went to just one of them, so I'd sleep on that guy. Yeah. Going go up out to, to the Rockaways, man. Go up to uh, 182nd. Oh, you're going north, north, brother. All right, man. Spanish uh -huh. Harlem when I lived there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good times. You come a far way. Yeah. Hi there. Thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, take care.